we will see how it all plays out. But the New York Jets, speaking of sinking ships, my man Arthur Brown says, fins up, baby, number one in the AFC East. Well, the Jets are not number one in the AFC East. Right now, I believe they're sitting in last place. Following their loss, their, their crazy loss to the Patriots on su- Sunday, 10-3, a last-second punt return for the Patriots uh, sent them over the edge. In post-game conference, Zach Wilson basically threw everybody under the bus and didn't take any blame for the current situation out there. So with that being said, Robert Sala and the New York Jets have come out and said that they are, quote, exploring quarterback options. Zach Wilson has played like complete dog crap this season. Let's flash back to the first two weeks of the season, guys. Joe Flacco was the quarterback of the New York Jets, and things were clicking for them. Let's not forget Joe Flacco is a Super Bowl-winning quarterback with the Baltimore Ravens and once was the first or, you know, of a handful of $100 million quarterbacks like at the time. Joe Flacco was the man for many, many years, so obviously he has ex- ex- experience. So is it an overreaction that Zach Wilson should be benched for the New York Jets for the foreseeable few, few, few future. And you know what, guys? It is an overreaction. Because this is the quarterback that you drafted to be your franchise guy. You, yes, he was injured, right, earlier in the year. But Joe Flacco was playing like old Joe Flacco. Number 19 was, what What number was he when uh, uh, Baltimore? Number three, maybe? I don't know. He was looking like the young Joe Flacco of old. He was looking good. The Jets were looking, mm, mucho, me, a verde. I don't I, I don't know how to speak Italian, but ooh, mucho gracia. I don't know. I don't, what, whatever the word very good is, is in Italian. Like, they were looking fan-freaking-tastic. They were a top team in the NFL. They were surprising everybody. And then Zach Wilson comes in, Mr. 44% completion percentage himself, 44 QBR. Like, it was just miserable. So, but with all that being said, the Jets still found ways to win. Despite Joe Flacco not playing good, the team rallied behind the young quarterback, Mr. Milf Hunter himself. They rallied around him, and they were winning a lot of games. So, his post-game remarks, this comes from the coach. This comes from coaching, maybe not from Robert Sala, but from his high school to college days to et cetera. Like, hey, it's not my fault. It's everybody else's fault. But the truth is, man, it is your fault. If you bench... Zach Wilson right now for in replacement for Joe Flacco. Zach Wilson will never play another down in a New York Giants or sorry in a New York Jets uniform. Let me repeat that. If you bench Zach Wilson, he will never play another down for the New York Football Jets. It's simple. Because when you bench him, you have acknowledged that he has lost the locker room. When you benched him, you have made it clear that you have no faith in him to turn things around. When you bench him, the old crafty veteran will not let that job go away. He will not let you get that job back. He won't. Joe Flacco is a vet. Joe Flacco knows how to win. He's been there. He's done that. I'm not saying the Jets don't need Joe Flacco. Obviously, they need that veteran presence. They need him to do this, 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 and this. But he also needs to take his Zach Wilson under his wing and teach him the ways, right? Teach him how to not suck. (laughs) Teach him how to take blame. So... If they do explore those options like they say they are and they're going to bench him, it's a big mistake. So it is an overreaction because they're not going to do it. 
This is simply smoke and mirrors. This is saying, hey, son, write your ways so we can win moving forward. That's what it means.